Hello, and welcome to I Got You, your go-to for honest, simple conversations about vision, eye health, and general wellness. I'm your host, Dr. Valerie Drum, optometrist and total eye nerd. No jargon, no hype, just real talk, grounded in care and expertise. Because your eyes matter, and so do you. This is a space where you're going to feel heard, seen, and supported, and you're going to get some information that you can actually use. So don't worry. I got you. Hello and welcome to I Got You. I'm Dr. Valerie Jerome, optometrist, eye health enthusiast, and your go-to guide for all things vision. Today, we're diving into the world of myopia in kids, what it is, why it's becoming more common, and most importantly, what you can do to help slow it down. And here's a spoiler alert. It's not just about glasses anymore. We're talking about contact lenses, eye drops, some lifestyle hacks, and the kind of science-backed solutions that your future you and your future them will thank you for. So go ahead and grab a cuppa, settle in, and let's get into it. Okay, so here's a quick science lesson. Myopia means your child sees well up close, like books, tablets, their nose in that Minecraft, but far away things, well, not so much. It's not just inconvenient, it's getting way more common, like way more common. And studies show that by the year 2050, half of the world's population will be myopic. That's billions, with a B. Billions of people squinting, and it's showing up earlier and progressing faster. So how do you know if your child's dealing with it? Here are the usual signs. They're sitting way too close to the television, not just because they're like obsessed with what they're looking at, but they're sitting close because they have to. They're holding their books or their tablets inches away from their face. They're squinting to read those road signs when you're in the car. Mom, look, there's a toy shop. Headaches, they get headaches, or maybe they're rubbing their eyes, or it, it, if, you know, if any of those things sound like your kid, it's time to talk to your optometrist. And here is why myopia control really matters. Now, you might be thinking, okay, look, we'll just get them some glasses, done. Problem solved. Hold on. This is where things get real. Yes, traditional glasses can help your child see but they won't stop myopia from getting worse. Now, see, myopia happens when the eye gets longer and longer, like physically longer. And as it gets physically longer, there are there is a serious increased risk of eye health problems as your child ages. And some of those issues are retinal detachment, myopic macular degeneration. Yep, that sounds scary because it really is. Um, You know, it's not just about avoiding glasses. It's about protecting your child's eyes and protecting their vision for life. Now, I know I'm a parent, and it's really hard to imagine your 8-year-old as a 60-year-old, 70-year-old, 80-year-old. But trust me, the future them will thank you for looking out for their myopia now. So let's talk about some of the causes of myopia. Let's think of it this way. There's two types of risk factors. There are the risk factors we can't control, and there's the risk factors that we can totally control. So let's start with the things that we can't change. Now, one of the things we can't change, genes. Kids are going to be short-sighted. They're a lot more likely to be short-sighted if their parents are short-sighted. Ethnicity. East Asian populations have higher rates of myopia. Age. Age, age being a risk factor, myopia tends to worsen rapidly in childhood, and then it sort of slows down in the late teens. There's when myopia starts. The younger the child is when it shows up, the more likely it is going to progress. And then there's gender. Girls are more likely than boys in younger ages to develop myopia. And now for the really good part. These are the things that we can control. Close work is something we can totally control, or we can try to at least. The more schooling someone has, the more screen time they have, the more reading they have, the more likely myopia is to develop. So when I was in optometry school, we always had a laugh with the law students. They started school, no glasses. By the time they finished law school, they were all in glasses for myopia. 
There's even a study that showed that minus 0.27 diopters progression for every extra year of education. So, but go on to law student, go on to law school, keep going with your education. We have my open control now, don't worry. Now, outdoor time is something we can totally control as well. The more time we spend outside, the more we lower our risk for myopia. No, your child doesn't have to be playing football or climbing trees. Now, if they want to, that's cool. They just need to be outside. It's the natural light from the sun that helps slow down eye growth, but only before myopia starts. So if your kid is still seeing 2020, get them outdoors now. And here are some of the other culprits that we can control. Smoking, bad sleep, poor diet, living in cities. And to be honest, research is still going on for myopia, but lifestyle definitely plays a role. So let's talk about some treatment options for myopia. How do we correct it? But more importantly, how do we control it? All right, so you've been told that your child has myopia. Again, that's nearsightedness, shortsightedness. What are you gonna do now? The good news? Well, now we have more tools than ever to correct their vision and slow it down. So I'm going to break it down for you. Let's talk lifestyle hacks. One of the things I tell my patients, limit the screen time and close work to two and a half hours a day. Now, I know, I know that's easier said than done, but trust me, it works. And aim for at least four hours of outdoor time every day, which may be hard during those winter months, but try to aim for it. Also, get your child to read near a window, around natural light, because sunlight is your friend in this case. Now, there are contact lenses for myopia. There are special soft contact lenses and lenses called Ortho-K that help to reshape the eye overnight. Think of it like dental braces. Uh, Think of it like braces. You've got braces and then you have to wear the retainer at night. That's kind of how Ortho-K is. So there's contact lens options to help slow down myopia. Also, another way to slow down myopia is low-dose atropine eye drops. So these are special prescribed eye drops that keep the eyes dilated, slightly dilated, and they have been shown to slow down myopia progression. And lastly, there are special spectacle lens designs called myopia control glasses that can slow down your child's short-sightedness. And no, they're not your nan's bifocal or like my old lady very focals. These are specially designed lenses for kids' vision and for slowing down myopia. These are super high-tech lenses, and they're doing some amazing work in my patients, slowing down their short-sightedness. I've got kids that are staying at minus one. They're not progressing to minus two, minus three, minus four. They're in myopia control lenses, and it's slowing it down. So as a parent, you may be wondering, which option is right for my child? Well, you know, it depends on your kid, really. Everybody's situation is unique. One of the things we look at, we look at their age, their lifestyle, their ability, if they're going to be able to handle contact lenses, and their comfort level, and also your preferences as parents. And that's why, as an optometrist, I always take a holistic approach, because it's not a one-size-fits-all. You and your optometrist or eye care provider should be partners in the plan to control your child's myopia. And listen, if you're feeling overwhelmed by all the choices, don't worry, you're not alone. I got you. If you like this episode, don't miss the next one. I'll be sharing my absolute favorite spectacle lens for myopia control, one I've been using in my practice for a few years. And I'm going to talk to you about how my own young patients at my practice are doing with them. And here's the spoiler. They're thriving. We are going to talk about real results, what to expect, and whether these specially designed myopia control lenses are worth all that extra investment? Short answer, yes. Until then, get those kids outside, keep the screen time in check, and remember, the earlier that you act, the better the outcome. And as always, thank you so much for listening. I'm Dr. Valerie Jerome, 
And as always, I got you. Thank you so very much for listening to the I Got You podcast with myself, Dr. Valerie Jerome. Just a little reminder, everything that we chat about here on this podcast is for info and entertainment purposes only. So if something's a little blurry, itchy, or not quite right with your eyes, book in an eye exam with your eye care provider. Take care of yourself and take care of your eyes.